I was seriously the other day. I had a, I went to the doctor. I had a stomach problem, and I say, you know, doc, I have this stomach problem. And I go, uh, he checks me out, and he goes, well, he said, before I check you out, I got, you have to fill out this form. I said, what are you talking about? I've been coming to see you for years. The form goes, well, Obamacare. <laughs> I said, what? He says, yeah, you got to fill all these forms now. I said, okay, well, I understand that. You know, if things change, you got to fill out some forms. So I started filling out these forms. He goes, here's one form, here's another form, here's another form, here's another form, here's another form. All of a sudden there's a thousand forms I gotta figure out. And he goes, where's your, uh, you, I, gotta, I, gotta provide my, uh, health I gotta provide my health insurance card, and I gotta perform my uh, license plate, or my license ID. <laughs> and I said, Doc, I only come here because I have diarrhea, and now you ask me to fill out these forms. So, Trump. But uh, you know, I'm recently unemployed. I lost my job. I was working in the biotech marketing field in uh, Orange County uh, for seven years. And about six months ago, I got a call at my desk, and he said, "Sorry, we have to cut back because of taxes. Because all the taxes our company has to pay." So. Whatever kind of uh, ins whatever kind of uh, stimulus has been going on, whatever kind of uh, government stimulus has been going on, affected me personally, and I feel like I got to go down to Southern Central LA or whatever it is, whoever the welfare queens, and say, "Knock, knock. Guess what? You owe me money because I've been paying into your shit for ten years." I'm going through a divorce, and right, it's so hot, it's so, the forms that you gotta fill out, and, this, and forget state forms, because I get, I understand, there's state forms that you gotta fill out, but the government forms, of uh, bureaucrats, 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 bureaucratic forms that have to get filled out, that, fill, that get filled out, it's a waste, and if you idiots don't understand, uh, you people don't understand that, all your tax dollars are going for all these forms to get filled out, and all the bureaucrats that get help, that get paid just to look at the, uh, like to fill out the, or write the forms. S get smart. <laughs> Seriously, get smart and tell the government, stay the fuck out of my life. But uh, so I'm, and, 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 you know, forms every everywhere I looked at forms. I was trying to get a job at Remax because I was interested in being a real estate agent. And the forms you gotta fill out for that or so much. Or... There's a lot of forms you gotta fill out for that too. And I don't think anybody, how many people here are interested in buying a home? No? I think, well, trust me, I've done some shows where people wanna buy homes. They don't care if their insurance. They don't care if their insurance company, if their, if their real estate agent has, has filled out all the forms. I asked them, I, did, I, I asked people about that and they said they don't care about the forms. <laughs> True. So uh, listen, I like, I gotta be honest with you, I, I know, uh, listen, I had sort of a uh, wake up call because I was doing comedy and I was <sighs> worried about the small stuff. You know, that's, you know that old saying, worry about, don't sweat the small, don't sweat the small stuff. I said, I don't want to, I was worried about little things, little problems, and I said, this is, it's, there's, life is too short, you gotta worry about the big problems. <laughs> Government. <laughs> Taxes, forms. <laughs> Bra bra bureaucracies. Bra bureaucracies. Okay? So I changed my act. I decided to do something different. I started to get involved, politically involved. And I know this is a liberal hotspot, LA and Hollywood, and this is gonna, you know, I'm gonna get in trouble because I'm saying things that are actually true, and nobody wants to hear the truth. So put me up against a wall and crucify me if you want, because I believe in certain things that are true. And I'm not gonna stand around and watch people uh, shit and piss on my constitution. <laughs> And that's why I'm supporting Trumps, because <laughs> Donald Trumps is the is actually a businessman, 
and he works for a living, he works hard, and if you think about it, this is, this is what kind of dawned on me, country, our country, America's, is actually like a business. It is like a business, and it runs like a business, so why not have a great, a great talented, uh, strong, original, creative businessman running it like Donald Trump's? So, so I want to leave you with this thought, because imagine if Donald Trump became president, which I am hoping happens. Um, and here's a couple things I think he would do, which is, I, I think he'd come up, I think first, first uh, well, actually, the, my, my punchline is what the first thing he would do, so I'll say some of the other things he'd do. <laughs> um, one of some of the things he would do, I think, would be he'd look at Obamacare and go, you're fired. <laughs> And then, then he'd look at all the money we spent on, uh, on uh, waste, and he'd go, you're fired. <laughs> then he'd look at some senators, so he's, some of these senators, these creeps, these jerks, that, that crawl around and, and infest our life. And Republicans and Democrats, by the way. The, the, these creeps, these senators and congressmen and bureaucrats who... who create all these forms and all these horrible rules and make me pay tax, make my company that I got laid off from pay taxes all the time. And they go, he go to those congressmen and go, you're fired. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And finally, this is the greatest. This is the, first thing, this is the first thing you do. On inauguration day, he'd get up there at the front and he'd get up to the front of the uh, podium and he'd turn to Obama and he'd go, you're fired. Say the fuck out of, uh, go, say government, say the fuck. I've been seeing, I have a few more minutes. I was going to end with a big, stay the fuck out of my life, government, say the fuck out of my life. We might do have time. So all I'm asking is people to think about, don't just drink the Kool-Aid that the people send you, uh, that people serve you in Washington. Use your own thoughts and use your own mind and send a message to government. Thank you guys very much. Good night.